They say all it takes is one minute and some tools to remove the airbags. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn spoke with Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood, who says the recent thefts happened at church. He took the horn out of the steering wheel. Gone in 60 seconds. Is your airbag still there? I don't think so. A couple Honda Accord burglarized at the St. Anne's Catholic Church Saturday afternoon. We found out that other cars in the same parking lot that he had drilled into the lock to get the, the um, airbag out. Deputies say the crooks targeted three cars, all Hondas, ripping out the airbags one by one. Here's dash cam video of one crook stealing an airbag from a Honda out of Miami. I don't know how one, much one of those things costs. I never heard of such a thing. Mechanics tell New Six the thieves pick Hondas because the airbags are easy to remove and even easier to sell. In my experience, they could be going to chop shops, uh, you know, to unscrupulous auto dealers who will put those bags in there, uh, but there is a market for them. Uh, overseas as well. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says the last time Volusia County saw a spike in airbag thefts was about seven years ago. So the last time we had this spurt, it was it was believed statewide we were getting hit that they were being shipped out of out of South Florida. As for this couple, I was shocked. Their insurance company covered for a new airbag, which otherwise would have cost a thousand dollars to replace. You have bottom feeders in life that all they do is go out. Uh, and target hardworking people, uh, and then they, and, you know, and that's how they make their money. In land, Lauren Corn, News Six. Now, Sheriff Chitwood said the same crooks who stole the airbags in Volusia stole from six Hondas in Osceola County the very same day. They are now working with them to find out who these people are. And as Lauren mentioned, here's that dash cam video again out of Miami showing an airbag theft. Last week, we told you about two break-ins that happened while the car was parked in that same Miami parking garage. Police say Hondas, Toyotas, and Acuras are the most targeted.